amounts of temporary enjoyment is worth a damaged heart. Greetings in Jesus' name and welcome to another edition of Faith is Natural here in the, the beautiful mountains of North Wales. And you know, mountain climbing is actually a very good illustration of the life of faith. The journey of faith is not an easy journey. It's tough, it's difficult, but the higher you climb, the more you see, the more you understand, the more you, you grow, and the stronger you become in your battle with temptation. Not that it disappears or, or decreases, no, but you become stronger in your battle with temptation. That's, that's our biggest enemy. Our biggest enemy is not the, the problems that we're facing around us, the challenges, the circumstances, no. Our biggest enemy is that little voice inside saying, you can do this, you can do that, and get away with it. You are different, but we are not. That's our biggest enemy, that little voice inside driving us. Touch this, try this, taste this, watch this. You'll be fulfilled, you'll be satisfied, you're your desire will be quenched. But they are not. Satan will never stop whispering into your heart. He will never stop knocking on the door of your heart. But will you open to him? Do you open that door? That voice will never stop whispering manipulative lies but what frequency are you tuned into in your heart it takes a heart grounded in the word of god to recognize satan's tactics and identify his tricks for the deceptive lies that they are. If your, your heart is engaged, deeply engaged with God's word, if you are tuned to that heavenly frequency, yes, the, the door will still knock, that voice will still whisper, that temptation will still strike, but God will prompt your spirits by his spirits and make a way out. As 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 says, God will, will remind you that it's not worth it. It is not worth it. No amount of temporary enjoyment is worth a damaged heart. No amount of a fleshly desire is worth losing peace of conscience. No amount of sin, no, no matter how alluring the presentation of temptation, no sin is worth breaking our fellowship with God. It is not worth it. It's not worth it because you, you are worth more you're worth more than those fleeting moments of fleshly gratification. You are worth more than, than the shadow, the mere shadow of man's limited love. You are worth more than the sum of people's narrow perceptions. You're worth more. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, as Psalm 139 verse 14 says. You, you were designed to live in union and communion with the creator of the heavens and the earth. You are the greatest product of the Holy Spirit. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit for the sake of the flesh. 
for the things of this world. They are as fleeting as they are fading. And the Holy Spirit is more interested in what we do secretly, privately. Because the one you, you serve in the secrets will stand to reward you in the open. So keep the secret place a sacred place. Take care of your hearts in the light of God's word. Yes, the temptation will continue to strike. So keep your heart tuned with God's word. The more the word of God we inwardly receive, the better equipped we are to resist temptation to resist sin. For as James chapter 4 verse 7 says, submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. Let, let me conclude by reminding you the words of a famous hymn, which simply says, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Right now, let us pray together. By the authority bestowed in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare sin's power over you be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Every sin of immorality, sin of disobedience, sin of unfaithfulness, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bad habit, I say be broken right now. Be broken right now. Be broken right now. Every satanic attitude, satanic covenant of attitude, behavior, character, begin to break it right now. Break it right now. Break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare freedom to your hearts. Freedom to your hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to be ruled by grace, not by law. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. People of God, make this your confession. I belong to Jesus. I am who he says I am. I have what he says I have. I can do what he says I can do. And just as he cannot share his glory with anyone, I cannot trade my future with anyone or anything. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me, viewers. God bless you. We'd love to hear from you. Please share with us the lessons you learned from this message or suggestions for future topics in the comment section below. And remember, continue to seek God's heart to see life clearly. Remain blessed in Jesus' name.